there's one piece of toast, four large eggs, 16 chicken feet, sorry, 24 chicken feet, 16 large eggs, and 20 small eggs. And now at the end, then we're nearly there. Flosser Road's the only site on our network where we're able to do anything 3D. We felt like someone like Heather, having so many kind of facets to her work, would be a really interesting person to invite to work specifically at Gloucester Road. Because we're working in 3D, as well as video, as well as 2D vinyl, you know, that it's, it's a moving thing, so there is a sense of kind of liveness and animation to it. So I thought Heather might do quite a lot of those things. I didn't necessarily think she would do all of them simultaneously, but I think that's what's going to make the work really interesting. So this is, the, uh, this is the egg yolk, and then you've got the mini egg here, and then medium size here that Dan's doing. Hard to tell what it is from <laughs> this stage. So. The foot originally was hand sculpted in clay, so all of that would have all been done by hand. That is a giant yolk in fireproof resin, which will be sat onto this board when it's laid down and will look like a fried egg. This is a computer model that we've, we are building to make sure that everything fits on the site. Because of the width of the platform, it's long, but as we're building up the installation, uh, it, it takes up a lot, of, a lot of the place. When people first see it pulling into that station, it's going to be quite, uh, I don't know, it'd be nice to sort of see a few, see the reaction on a few people's faces when they see it. When you enter onto the platform, you're kind of encountering it at the right-hand side, so it's as if everything's kind of coming towards you. That's the direction everything's moving in. When the train is coming in, I'm hoping that there'll be, you know, in the way that there is in the underground, a, a, an air that, a airflow that gets pushed along with it, and some of the elements are kind of hinged or they've got wires in them, cables, so they will move slightly. Um, so everything will be slightly animated. I mean, what's nice about this work, even though you can't like, enter into it, is that there is this passing along it, so there's still a kind of traversal of the work, you know, either by, by train or on foot as you're, if you walk along the platform, so you get it as this kind of passing landscape. The, the actual matter of the work is, you know, these huge eggs that are spread out, all of which are being subject to various forms of torture, so being having nails drilled into them, um, getting cracked, uh, smashing on the floor, being cooked, getting whisked. I mean, I hope that there are lots and lots of different ways that you can think about it. You know, the egg is also an incredibly cliched symbol and it's used in so many different ways. And obviously, we as human beings come from eggs as well, you know, so those sorts of things are implicit, as well as the egg being a symbol of all other kinds of things as well. You know, obviously the egg is a, an entity, a substance that um, is the beginning of a life, no matter how the, the other cliches that we use culturally may impact on it. You know, so I want it to kind of reference out to all of those things, but ultimately it's still, you know, maybe to look again at what it is.